pleat. Flippers, I think, are kind of silly because you're literally altering what God gave them. I need to get up in there. Alaska? She says that flippers, you know, the fake teeth coverings, are silly because apparently they're altering what God gave you. So let me get this straight. Covering something you were born with is altering what God gave you, but whitening your actual teeth, making changes to your actual teeth, is not altering what God gave you. Her brain is overheating. It is about to detonate. Get some cooling fans in that thing. It is about to explode. She had a tan line on her back. I thought that it would show really bad through her formal wear. My daughter looks like a giraffe. There was some other contestant's hair that I would have died to have had on Alaska's head. Now she's saying her daughter looks like a giraffe <laughs> and how she wishes her daughter had some of the other kid's hair, and this whole time she has reeked of favoritism for her son. Your teeth are so yellow compared to his, though, baby. He's not so cookie cutter as, so to say, the blonde hair, blue eyes, which Alaska has. TLC, why? Why did you give people like this a platform? Why did you give this woman screen time where she just roasts her defenseless daughter mercilessly? Seriously though, I don't think the daughter deserves her mom speaking like this about her televised for all to see. All right, ladies, gents, and gamers, here's one of the clips I promised earlier. I had children so that we could do pageants. Get rid of them. Beauty hurts. That means whenever a mom is trying to put something on, she mostly hurts you. Riley, why you don't like it? Should we put them on Bob? When I was pregnant and I found out I was having a boy, I was quite upset because I actually had the children so that we could do the pageants. This is, ugh, why? She shouldn't have had kids. Pretty obvious, I mean, look at this title. Having a child for the purpose of putting them in beauty pageants, you shouldn't have kids if you're gonna be that selfish. These kids are no more than objects to this woman. And she was upset about having a boy because she thought she couldn't force him to do beauty pageants. Like, these children were just brought into the world for one specific purpose, like a product. And at this point, I just wonder what happens when they outgrow pageant age. Like, have they outlived their usefulness to her? Does she develop attachment to them beyond what her original purpose for them was? Next video coming up is sick. Not in a fun way, a bad way. The bad kind of sick. It's unforgettable bodybuilder disco routine. And we have something astonishing six seconds into this video. They airbrushed this poor little girl beyond belief. This is awful. She's four years old. What is there to even get rid of? If you look at the edges, it's just, oh my God, everything. I don't even know who's responsible for it. I don't think TLC did it. There's no context behind this photo. It appears for a second and then, oop, it's gone. So, I don't know who to blame for this, but it is bad. Here we go. Woo! Oh, good. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> you did it perfect. I don't like judging people by any means, but you just see, like, love handles sticking out their shirt, and I'm just thinking, man. And, you know, they're staring at me, judging me, and it's like, what are you teaching your daughter when you're walking around huge like that and out of shape. So this guy is saying he doesn't judge, and then he's pointing out all the fat on the woman around him, and then the editors and camera crew here are just zooming in on everyone's fat roll. Little invasive, these poor women, I, I feel for them. They're just minding their own business, right? Going about their day, and then the TLC cameraman is just intensely zooming in on every fat crevice. So the time comes for the daughter to do her routine with her dad, and this outfit, it's not the literal worst thing in the world, but I am gonna cover it up. Don't feel it's appropriate, but it's kind of standard pageant stuff. But what's about to happen here sure isn't. So the dad is on the stage when the daughter is starting her routine, but then he comes back on in the middle of her routine wearing only boxers and starts dancing. TLC didn't censor it, but I'm going to. This man is only in his boxers in a room full of children. It's nasty. I do have faith in humanity, though, since a lot of the comments are also agreeing that this is bad. Now, the reason the parents even thought this was a good idea is because the stepmom wanted to have her daughter win because the judges were too distracted with her husband. She basically wanted to use this awful choice 
to make the routine more memorable. Sadie's gonna take his shirt off off stage and then show up on stage. And I know everybody's gonna go, <gasps> and the judges will remember her. Next video we have is Animal Pageant Takeover, and this next video, it's <laughs> everything awful about beauty pageants, but now, all of the bad pageant moms have access to animals, and they have to get the animals ready for the stage, too. They put makeup on a pig. Why? <laughs> PETA, stop playing Animal Crossing. And look, pig lipstick, animal testing. Now, one team brought in a zebra, and another mom thought it went against the pageant's rules on weight limits for the animals. So, she threw a Karen fit. We've created a great network that's fast. The paperwork clearly says, can be any kind of pageant pet under 40 pounds in weight, must be kept in a pet carrier until stage time. Keep it fair. Everybody sees a dog every day. Everybody sees frogs. Everybody sees cats. Everybody's seen snakes. They obviously have advantage over everyone with a big zebra. That is over 40 pounds. Look how cool it is. I don't care how cool it is. Be any kind of pageant pet under 40 pounds in weight. Must be kept in a pet carrier. Only if you're staying in the hotel. No, no. That's the rules. It clearly says it on the paperwork. You're reading. Okay, I'm not gonna argue with you because you're an older person and I respect you. And at the end of this fit, she decided it was time for her to trash talk a child. Just get beat anyway. She'll need that zebra to help her. Let's just put it that way. She decided to trash talk the kid. She's gonna need that zebra. It just looks like a comment I'd see on a T channel or some comment with the fairy emoji. No one here was having a good time. One family brought in a goat and there was goat waste all over the floor in the dressing room. No one wanted to pick it up. The owners of the goat refused to pick it up and the video just cuts off there. <laughs> oh my God. We just like poop everywhere. There was goat poop all over the hair and makeup room and a lot of kids are running around barefoot. And there's like goat poop all over the floor is disgusting. Wait, is that your goat that's on the floor? Probably is. Can we get that cleaned up? That's yeah. really disgusting. Knock yourself out. It's yours. Yeah, knock yourself out. Clearly it's yours, you could tell. Luckily, I was able to find the rest of this situation on another video they uploaded to the channel by complete coincidence as it was titled something entirely different. Ultimate drama among the Tiara twins' parents. And the tension in the situation just rises here and it gets much worse. So let's take a look. Bye. Bye, Malisha. Oh, really? Last time I saw you were in charge of nothing, bitch. You do not say that about people. What is wrong with you? He can say whatever he wants to say. You can just tell some of these adults here peaked in middle school and are trying to live through their kids. There are no regards or concerns to how their kids should feel and what situations they should and should not be exposed to. The situation in this video, minus the goat poop, is actually pretty common on toddlers and tiaras. Just adults cursing each other out and trying to start fights in front of kids, it's really common. I also feel bad for them because they're in this situation and they're being televised. Like, there's no privacy here. And now, Goat Lady doesn't want to pick up her goat's poop after letting it wander around because she's lazy, so she wants to make her daughter do it for her. Honey, honey, these little ass here would like to see a Cinderella story, so can you pick up so that these butt can feel better Why about their life. No, 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 no. That looks really uncomfortable. Just using that language around her kid. My kids don't care. They'll be happy to pick up 